Okay, today we're going to look at the process involved in exporting your course content from one canvas shell into another canvas shell. So the times you may want to do this would include if you've created your course in a development area and you want to move it over to the live version of the course for that semester, or if you have created a course in a previous semester and you want to move that content to the current semester so then you can just update it for delivery in this semester. So here I am in a user's profile and I'm in their dashboard here and as you can see I've got a course for spring 2018 here and I can tell it's a spring 2018 course because if I look here at this top line I can see that I've got the first six digits are the semester code and then you can see the course code here and then you can see the program code and then you can see the CRN number, the course reference number. So, and then as you can see underneath, it actually has spring 2018 there. And then over here is our sandbox area, and this is our development area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the development area first, and you can see that the instructor has created certain materials in here. And what we are going to do is we are going to scroll down and go into settings. And from settings over here on the left hand menu, we are going to export the course content. And it'll ask us if we want to export the full course or just the quizzes. We want to export the full course, so I'm going to click Create Export. And it's going to move across and export all of the materials. And it'll tell me when it's done. And you can tell it's done because this whole blue bar is solid. And I can just cl click here to download and it will download it to my computer. So you can see it went down here to the bottom and um, downloaded it to my computer. So the next thing I need to do now is I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to go into the semester that I happen to be teaching. In this case it is the spring 18 semester so it's this one right here. So when I click on this one you'll see I've already gone in or this instructor has already gone in and updated the template material to be specific to his course or her course and in this case I am going to scroll down to settings again and from clicking on settings I am going to import course content and you can see it'll actually ask me uh, what type of import I want to bring in and since I just exported a course I'm going to select this second option here canvas course export package and I'm going to choose the file here now and it came down into my downloads directory and you can see it here it's the edu 606 and I can always tell it says export.imscc uh, a good way to do this is if you have it set up so that oftentimes this is the view that you will see. Um, if you go over here and switch to the list view and then click on the date modified. And if you're pointing down, it means that it will be all of the most recent ones at the top. So you can see this is the most recent file that was added to that directory. And if I had just exported the file a couple of minutes ago, which I did, that should be at the top. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to click open down here. I want to bring in all of the content and then I'm just going to click export. And it brings it in. You can see it's running here and when this blue bar here reaches the end it will be ready. And if there are any problems it'll tell me right here if there were problems. So it says completed and that's fine. Um, just to the side of completed, either on the right side or the left side, if there were issues with the import, it would have said there are one issue or two issues, and you could have clicked on that, and that would have um, indicated what those issues were. Oftentimes, it's a file that isn't found in the same spot, or it's a link that is no longer working. But in this case, we were fine. So if I go back out to home, and as you can see, the home page appears again here now. And if I click on modules, you'll note that the template or the blueprint items for the modules appear here on the top, and the rest of the course material here appears beneath. 
So that's been a quick video on how to export course content from one Canvas shell and then import that course content into a blank Canvas shell or a second Canvas shell.